morning, listener. I'm Imani. And I'm Amelia, and we have your morning announcements. City Council members, you need to come by Mrs. Green's office to sign up for community service opportunities and pick up your plans for Club Picture Day. The Chase Leadership Academy is proud to announce its new academy class. Brianna Perkins, Davia Jenkins, Khadija Ross, Ashley Jacobs, Yasmeen Hines, Shadrinka Smith, Caitlin McKeever, Kiara Washington, Loretta L. Moore, and Jasmine Foster. Congratulations, and you need to plan to meet in the library tomorrow morning for a picture. Junior Civitans, the fair starts today. If you have paid your club fees, go by Mrs. Cabin's room 3107 to pick up your membership card. You must pay your fees to work the fair. Also, you need to come by Mrs. Cabin's room between classes to pick up your t-shirts. They are in and you need Tim to work for the fair. 4-H, members need to go by Mrs. Jacob's room today to vote for officers. Also, if you haven't turned in your form and money, please do so by September 25th. FCA meets in the auditorium every Thursday morning at 7.30 a.m. FCS members, come by the library and sign up to pray or read a scripture for See You at the Pole, which will be on September 26th in the new gym. FCS shirts will be in on Tuesday, September 25th, so be sure to come by the library and pick up your shirt for Club Picture Day. National Honor Society meeting will be on Wednesday, October 3rd, 2012 in the auditorium at 7 a.m. and 3.30 p.m. You may attend either meeting time. You need to bring a pen. If you would like to run for an office, you need to sign up by next Wednesday, September 26th. If you have questions, see Mr. Lewis in room 3105 or Mrs. Hayward's room 4207. Drama members, we have a meeting this Friday, September 21st after school. All current members and anyone who is interested should attend. We will be discussing Club Picture Day. The meeting will last no longer than 30 minutes. Now we're going to send things to sports. Hi, West Monroe. I'm Madeline Kent here, and we have your sports. As you know, tonight we have a big game against Bastrop, and it's at home. And I'm here with the quarterback, Mr. Michael David Mims. And so, uh, Tebow, I mean, um, Michael, I'm sorry. Can you recap uh, last game at Madison Central? Tell us anything you like. We come out, we played real hard. Chris Nolan had the best game of his life, probably the best player on our team. So, uh, really, with Chris's will to win, we won the game. And I heard you got Aaron's aces, so tell us how you did to do to get that. What'd you do? I ran for a lot of yards. Uh, with the opportunity of my offensive line doing great, all five of them played hard. So uh, really with their help, that's how it happened. Thank you. And as we're playing Bastrop this week, how is preparing for this game any different than the previous games? Not much different. It was a short week, but we came out focused for the first two days of practice this week. And uh, we know they have a lot of speed, so we're just getting ready for it. All right. Well, all of West Monroe knows that you're the quarterback and that you're obviously the team's leader. So tell us all how you deal with the stress of that. Um, I go to yoga class on Wednesdays and Thursdays nights before the game. Uh, I really just go in there, meditate, um, you know, just soothe my mind. Ah, that sounds fun. Well, do you have anything to say for the student section or fans coming out to the game tonight? I expect Hamilton Winters to wear his uh, striped overalls, and uh, y'all be loud and obnoxious out there. Well, the theme this week is neon, so what's your favorite neon color? Neon green, definitely. It uh, brings life out in people, for sure. It's a very pretty color. And all the girls here, they want to know, how do you keep your hair just looking so great under your helmet during the game? Um, I always wash it with conditioner and shampoo, and uh, I usually try to brush it within every 30 minutes of the day, make sure you know it keeps its line straight. So uh, I just try to look good. Well, maybe we'll have some other guys walking around the school with your same hair. Anyway, that's going to be all for us today. We'll see you tonight at the game, West Monroe, and thank you, Michael, for this wonderful interview. Have a great day, West Monroe. Welcome back, and Michael, I hope you had fun at yoga last night. And now we have your other news. Seniors, don't forget that West Monroe has two career coaches available to help you with your life after high school needs, whether they deal with college admissions, career planning, applying for financial aid, or adjusting to life. Kristen Nobles and Melanie Groves are our career coaches, and you can find them in guidance. Stop by today to meet with them. There will be a senior meeting on October 2nd that will take place during first and second periods. 
All seniors will attend, so please mark your calendars. Kickoff LSU is an open house weekend for students to come to the LSU campus to see the opportunities the university has to offer. It will take place on the following Fridays, September 28th, October 12th, November 9th, and November 16th. Registration for kickoff LSU is required in order to attend. For more information and to register, please visit www.lsu.edu slash kickoff LSU. Due to, the, due to the overwhelming response to the first driver's ed class, we will be having another class that will be from 7 a.m. to 7.55 a.m. starting Monday, October 1st. Registration forms may be picked up in Mr. Lovelace's office beginning today. The class is open to the first 40 students that register and have their $200 cash or money order. This class will last for 30 days and the driving will be scheduled at the end of the class. Yearbook retakes will be the morning of Club Picture Day on September 26th in the new gym lobby. There is a $5 fee for retakes. Teachers, Club Picture Day will be Wednesday, September 26th. Please mark your calendars and send a roster of your clubs to Mrs. Whitlock as soon as you can. Students, please come by Student Services and to get your parking sticker. There is no fee. If you drive to school, your car must have a parking sticker to park on campus. Nominations for Distinguished Alumni Award are also now being accepted. Nomination forms are available from Miriam Counts at the, at the school office or may be downloaded from GoRebs.org. The deadline for submission is Thursday, October 4th at 3 p.m. Any graduate from West Monroe is eligible to be nominated. Remember that the Rebel Branch of the Washita Valley Federal Credit Union is now open. Students and faculty have access to all of the services this branch has to offer. Stop by and check out the Rebel Branch today. It is located right across from Check-In, Check-Out. This week commemorates the signing of the Constitution of the United States of America. This guardian of liberty established our republic as a self-governing nation dedicated to rule by law. We applaud those courageous men who 225 years ago struggled to balance a limited government with the rights, privileges, and responsibilities of American citizenship. Don't forget to go to GoRabs.org, West Monroe. Y'all have a good day. Stay classy, West Monroe.